Okay, here we have a 2D drawing that I've drawn from this. You can either start, start by drawing this part here, the top view, or you can draw the front, which is actually the side of this object. What I'm going to do is extrude the cylinder first. Okay, I've drawn up the shape, as you can see, it's drawn up. And we've also got the cylinder. So what we're going to do now is start solving the problem. Let's extrude first. E for extrude. Click on the cylinder. The length of the cylinder is 60 millimeters. Okay. Let's right click on the and share the sketch. Now we're going to place our focus on this geometry. R for revolve. Now these are the axes that are placed carefully as per these distances 54 and 27 and then we have 30 and that last bit is 2.5 select the geometry and now I'm clicking on select axis you'll see a blue line there and I'm clicking on the axis with my left click I want it 180 degrees and symmetric there we go symmetric shape okay I'm clicking on my rotating button and I need to click on these two areas there. So let's go. Sketch. Click on the first area. Because I need to draw on both, I am going to project the geometry so that I can draw on both. There we go. I'm pressing E for extrude. Select, select. And I know the distance is 27 as per the drawing. Okay. This is where we are so far. Check the drawing. We are up till this point there. We need to do a last revolve. And then we're done. So we're going to sketch on there again. Let's choose this one. Here's our axis of revolve. I'm going to press R for revolve. We just need to choose one. Let's project the geometry first. Project the geometry to be able to get hold of it. R for revolve. Select axis. Okay, doesn't want to select. Let's go and just solidify that axis there. Here's our line. Let's redo. R for revolve. Select. Axis. Here's our axis and it's closed up. Okay, we have to choose this one. We're not going to go double the side uh, symmetrically. We're just going one direction and that's enough. Okay. That's where we are so far. To complete the drawing, we can see there's a radius there and let's go put in that radius fill it we want it as 5 click on there it's a 5 millimeter radius ok and it's our final product I'm just going to hide visibility to be able to see better that's the final product and that's how you draw the lifting loop Thank you very much.